So, obviously, you know I'm excited. Yeah, of course. I already Bang. knew that. Bengals got the first pick. And I, I texted you like uh, before the Bengals <laughs> picked Burrow. And I said, dude, what are you hearing? Is he the real deal? <laughs> What's the deal? Because you worked out with him, right? Yeah, he, uh, he came out here and trained. He was training with Jordan Palmer and the receivers that I was working with. So we would throw almost every day, three, four days a week. Uh, but I was working out with him realist in the weight room like after they would get done with the field i would just go in the weight room and uh those young kids they got me back to working out and joe was one of them and oh, so now they got him was it a good pick oh yeah <laughs> like and you know me i'm gonna keep it a hundred the first week or so with joe it was it was like oh i don't know if i'm drafting him number one Oh, for real? And, yeah. I mean, and, and he would, he hadn't thrown a ball in, I believe he said it was like three weeks. He messed his rib up in the national championship game. But then after that, he was money. When, when I tell you, this is how you know a quarterback is good. We're out there with Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Kyle Allen. They were turning around like, God, this dude is so accurate. And, and that's to me what stuck out was he didn't throw any ball that was here. Everything was right here. And the last week before the coronavirus, um, it was raining every day. And we were out in the rain. And he was still throwing everything on the money. I had I had John Ross come out there. Ross was catching the ball from him. Um, I'm like, Joe, please overthrow him. He, would, he, he couldn't, Ross couldn't outrun his arm. And mm. anybody know Ross, when he start running, if he want to outrun your arm, it's over. He couldn't yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh, man, you got me excited now. <laughs> nah, Joe, Joe can play, man. It's his mentality, though, man. Like, his mentality, some people might say it's cocky, but the dude has that belief in himself, man. It's like, you seen the interview the other day when he was like, oh, yeah, I can score 12 to 15 points in the NBA. And he wasn't joking. He was dead serious. Like, yeah. he just really believes in himself. So, I'm with you, man. I, the Bengals, I, I said it... Uh, before all of this, I believe it was at the Super Bowl and prior to that, if Carson couldn't turn it around, I didn't think anyone could. But uh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to eat those words, man. I, I truly believe Joe's going to turn that thing around. I mean, you got to start somewhere. You look at, you go back in time. It was before I was born. Before the Steelers got yeah. Terry Bradshaw, they were trash. They were trash. Yeah. They hadn't had won a playoff game in 30 years. And then Terry Bradshaw comes, they win four Super Bowls. And so it, it I mean, has to look, start somewhere. Yeah. But look, I, I always um, – there's no position other than quarterback that can literally change the way perception of, of the way people think of a team. A la, you said Terry Bradshaw. I was thinking Peyton Manning before he got oh. to the Colts. Colts yeah. were terrible every year. That was laughing stock. Then he got there and somewhat Drew Brees in New Orleans. New Orleans was always terrible. Then he got there. Now nobody wants to play him. That's why I ask with Joe Burrow, and I always appreciate your opinion because it seems like you're like a Nostradamus. Because remember I ran into the airport before the 2015 season, and I was talking to you. I had my little Asian buddy with me. And oh, yeah. He was, yeah, yeah. He was telling me, he was like, yo, yeah. gee, they yeah. got a squad. And the first thing you said was, they stay healthy. They got some athletes. And I remember I was on a flight with my buddy, and I'm going, did you fucking hear what he said? <laughs> And then that 2015 team, same thing. Andy gets hurt. I went, God, against the Steelers. And then the Steelers beat us in the playoffs. And I went, yeah. I said, and people, people forget that the Steelers weren't supposed to be in the playoffs that year. It was supposed to be the Jets. And the Jets lost to the Bills the they last lost. week. Yes. And then that's how the Steelers got in. And as soon as I saw the Steelers in the playoffs, I went, we're done. And everybody's like, why? I go, because they're going to beat each other up. I said, if the Bengals beat the Steelers, some might get hurt and vice versa. I said, that was, that was a, I didn't, I hadn't seen hate like that between two teams like that. That Dude, 2015 you, team. It, it's setting up right now. Ben is going to play a maximum of one or two years. I'll go out on a limb and say Joe Burrow will win a playoff game on his rookie contract for sure. If, wow. AJ can, if AJ can stay healthy mm -hmm. and 
they can draft a lineman today with this second pick, draft draft the best available offensive lineman. You got AJ, you got Tyler Boyd, you got Ross, you got CJ Ozuma, you got Joe Mixon. You go across the entire NFL. You tell me who got skilled players like that. You tell me. Right, right. Nobody, nobody you tell has me. that. They nobody has that. And then you look at who they acquired in free agency. And you still got Geno. You still got Dunlap. You got Jesse Bates. They signed a safety from the Saints. The Bengals have a team right now. And, and Jonah Williams come back. First round pick last year. That didn't play. So if they draft a lineman today that can help them this year, they're going to be very mm-hmm. competitive this year. And then next mm-hmm. year and moving forward, would Joe get more comfortable? Mm-hmm. Man, it only problem is after this year, AJ will be a free agent. Ross will technically be a free agent, depending on what, what they do. You have to keep weapons uh, around Joe. You, you kind of have to do it like they did with Carson, with me and Chad. You got to have yeah. two receivers that he can throw the ball to. And that, that's going to get open. If they can do that, fortunes are going to turn, man. Like, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Joe will be that quarterback to uh, win a playoff game on his rookie deal. I hope, man. I hope you're right. Oh, you said his – okay, wait a minute. You said his rookie deal. I thought you meant his rookie year. <laughs> now – He's about the first four years. Yeah, the first four years. Now, if, if things go – like. You got to look at their division, man. That's the thing about the Bengals. You got to play Baltimore twice. They're going to be good. Pittsburgh is always going to be good. And then Cleveland might have more talent than the Steelers and the Ravens. And you got to play them twice. And and so that division is is not an easy. It's the hardest. It's the toughest division in football. By far, the toughest division in football is the AFC North. And and so it's not. If they can get through that, oh, man, it's going to be a sight to see. But yeah, you ain't lying. 